Yo, what is going on guys, it's Power Gaming here and today I'm going to be doing another news update about the game Identity. Now this is an important news update so, uh, you know, it might be a long video. But please hit that like button and subscribe if you like my videos and I'll see you guys in the next video. So finally after months of waiting, we have finally got a developer's blog on the Identity's website. It's the first developer's blog that we've actually got to this day and it talks about some pretty cool stuff. So let's get right into it. It has just been over a year since you have helped successfully kickstart identity into existence. We want to thank you all for your continued support by providing you all with regular updates following the development process for identity. Engaging with our community is one of the best ways we can show our thanks and a developer's blog is a perfect opportunity for us to bring you along for the ride. As you've seen throughout the past year, there is no game out there that is quite like Identity. Very true there. And through your support, you have proven to us that Identity is a vision worth turning into a reality. Damn right it is. Feedback has shown us that you all really appreciate our attempts to respond to virtually every question they receive on social media. I actually find it insane how the developers give us regular updates about the game, as well as work on everything else on top of that. And if the developers are watching this, you know, thanks for doing that for us. Twitter and Facebook have been a huge boost in exposure for identity, and so it is time we begin to explore other avenues of exposure to help our community understand a bit more about the game. In the coming months, our fans will see their first glimpse of gameplay for identity. We are all extremely excited to show off our first gameplay video, which we will fully explore the mechanics of apartment and housing customization. With this video, you will see that we have stayed true to our original art direction from the original Kickstarter trailer while maintaining high standards in realistic lighting and graphics. We can safely say that we have improved many of the areas of our design that needed attention since February last year. Apartments and houses within Identity will have a fully customizable interior. You will be able to change the wallpaper on every wall in every room, place furniture anywhere there is space on the ground, swap out doors, windows, baseboards, crown moulding and even wainscoting. I'll go over them in a little bit. We have made no compromise to the level of detail in which you can customise your apartments or homes in order to truly express your sense of home decor. With this level of control there is virtually no chance that the interior of two homes will ever look alike. There will be hundreds of furniture items available to purchase in-game in every style and design from traditional to contemporary. Furniture and identity can even be crafted, sold or traded to other players and those who wish to try their hand at crafting handmade furniture from a variety of materials can place a crafting table anywhere they wish inside the homes. And if you wish to share your space with a partner, friend or even group of friends, homes and apartments will be available for sale throughout the world that support multiple roommates depending on the size of the space and how many bedrooms are available. The home owner may even grant bill permissions to any number of roommates, even visitors to help them decorate their living space. When you are finished, invite your friends over to compliment you on your interior decorating skills. If you're anything like us, we know that you'll spend more time cleaning up this virtual home than you do with your real one. Right, okay, so this is absolutely mental. When I first read this, I was actually just blown away with how deep they're going into customization. Like, this game will be the best game out there if they continue to put this amount of detail into it. Like, I mean, even on the picture, he's watching lyrics stream. Right, anyway, so I'm going to get back to the customization aspects. Right, so changing the wallpaper is self-explanatory, but you were able to do it on every wall in every room, which is, uh, you know, quite cool because uh, you know you'll be able to make some pretty mental colour patterns like you could have a red wall and a blue wall and a red wall and a blue wall and then just a pink wall just out of nowhere because you just can it does remind me a lot of the sims um, it's like sims and gta have just been put together to create an ultimate game and uh, you know i'm probably gonna spend a lot of time customizing my house to make it look pretty damn cool and not only that it will probably kickstart a lot of youtube channels to create things like pimp my house or something like that which is pretty crazy to be honest with you like this game it's gonna be a game but it's gonna have a large social experience to it as well like you're gonna meet people that could you know possibly become your new 
your best mates or something like that, you never know. Uh, you're gonna do things that you're probably gonna be talented at and you're gonna wanna upload it to YouTube and you might get some recognition from it. So you might build a career just from identity. It's pretty insane. Right, I'm babbling. So swapping outdoors, self-explanatory. Windows, self-explanatory. Baseboard, self-explanatory. Crown molding. Right, I got, I didn't know what this was, so I'll tell you what it is now. Right, I'll probably point this out in the picture because I don't really know the best way to explain it, but it kind of joins the wallpaper and the roof together. So wainscoting, didn't even know how to pronounce this, never mind, like, know what it is. But wainscoting is, uh, is pretty much the same thing as crown moulding, but instead of it being on the roof, it's like the, the layer underneath the wallpaper on the picture. Again, I'll point it out to you, I suck with anything to do with house building or anything like that, so, uh, you know, don't kill me. Also, the house that you'll buy will probably start off being empty and then you'll go and buy furniture for the house. Then you'll be able to free place it a lot like The Sims. So really, you'll probably never get two homes that will look alike. This week our team has placed a lot of development efforts into building a functioning radio system that will allow you to listen to your favourite real world radio stations through placed radio objects inside your virtual home or car. Again, this is pretty cool. It's what they talk about doing operated talk shows, which you can personally host or tune in and listen to. So next you go on to talk about the social module, which most of us already know about. They're basically saying that it's still in production and they can't give an exact date on when it is going to be ready. So we will have to wait and see on that. And then they talk about moving forward, which I will read. We want to thank our community for being so patient with us. Over the course of the past year, we've seen many work in progress screenshots of our assets designed for identity and while we believe they serve as a sample of the work we have already put into the game we know that many of you are still anxious to see the video our current priority is to get things ready to show off or more specifically the housing apartment customization first we are convinced that many of you will appreciate the time and effort we have put into this feature so that you'll be able to fully express yourself through the character and virtual home we know we've been pretty quiet this year and the criticism we've heard from our fans through social media and the forums have not fallen on deaf ears. We will start to release regular updates through development blogs and continue to find new ways to interact with our community to show you our gratitude for your support. To be honest with you, they said they've been pretty quiet, but in reality they haven't been really because they've kept us updated like every day, apart from weekends. I know all the game developer really does that. I mean, they probably are, but not that I've seen. I was really sceptical of what this game was going to be, like I didn't think it would be this in depth because I thought it was too ambitious considering only 9 people are work it, working on it, thereabouts anyway. But to, to actually start seeing the work coming out now, it's actually mind blowing. So that's it really, I'll leave the developer's blog post in the description below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you're new here, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video, have a good one.